Welcome to another JournalNow.com High School Football video. We are previewing the full 2021 season. We are talking to one of the key players in the triad and for the Glen High School Bobcats, senior linebacker Albert Red, helping us preview his season and the team. Albert, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. What's this off season been like? Last summer you didn't really get to work out because of COVID. This summer you've at least gotten that back. How, how has this been different? Um, it's definitely been better with um, bringing the team better, bringing the team together, having more time to work with each other, practice, to work on plays, uh, just build like a team and not have everything rushed together, trying to put plays, fit people where they need to be. So now I feel like we, um, we build a better foundation as a team this year. Much quicker turnaround though. Did that give your body and as much as much hitting as you do out there? Did that give your body enough time to heal? Um, yeah, it definitely was a lot of contact, um, and definitely still is, knowing that the season just turned right around, basically. But um, we had a couple weeks off, and um, Coach Steve made sure that um, we stayed healthy, made sure that we um, did healthy stretches through. We'll take practices just to work on stretches and stuff like that, um, and make sure that we're healthy. So like that, so I feel like our team will have a healthy season this year. You guys flew a little bit under the radar last season and came through, won the Central Piedmont Conference, uh, which was huge. You also beat West uh, East Forsyth, the other school in Kernersville, yes, twice. Sir. What was more satisfying, winning the conference or beating the Eagles twice? Uh, just winning the conference, because um, we go we could go into every game knowing that we're finna win. You can't go in the game hoping to win. You got to go in the game knowing you're finna win. So. Um, it definitely felt good to beat them twice, but it definitely feels better just to get our um, school or, um, conference title. Mm -hmm. So that feels a lot better. For people who aren't from Kernersville, who don't know what that rivalry is like or understand it, what would you tell them about it? Uh, and that rivalry, this rivalry is crazy. Uh, when I came to high school, I knew about rivalries and stuff. You see it in movies, but when you actually come, this rivalry is kind of like a movie. Schools, um, spray painted, buses, fields getting destroyed, stuff like that. So um, it's definitely a lot of tension on that game week so when we play East Forsyth. So um, it's definitely a lot of fun that week. And then that Friday night is always going to be packed out crazy. You, the latest in a long line of really outstanding defensive players for the Glen Bobcats. Uh, Mr. Dilworth, Javari Ritzy, just, just the whole string of guys. What's it been like to play with them? And, and who's next after you in that line? Um, it was so fun playing with them guys, Jahai Skills, Javari Ritzy, right near you, Dilworth. Um, it was just so fun playing with them guys. Um, just them being like older players. And when I came in as a freshman, starting just with them on varsity, um, they just always told me you got to keep going working and stuff like that. And it all paid off for them. And they all still hit my phone. We all still talk all the time. They tell me keep going and stuff like that. And it was fun. But when I leave, we do still have a lot of pieces that I think are going to be um, good. We um, we got a safety, AJ Cloverdale. Um, he's very nice. He has great size and stuff like that. I feel like he'll be able to play. Um, we now have another outside linebacker that plays. His name is Kurt. I forgot his last name. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, he has another great size. We got a young D lineman. Um, Another fast DB, Ty, we call him Ty. Um, I'm not good with last names, but yeah, I feel like we had a lot, a lot of key players mm -hmm. that are still going to be, we're going to be a very young team this year. Offensive side of the ball, you, I know you've got a quarterback back, you've got some other guys back. Tell me a little about, a bit about um, those guys. Yeah, offensive guys, uh, I guess them are kind of the guys who came in other than me and Kedrick Green, mm -hmm. but uh, Camden Coleman, um, Chaney Fitzgerald, Anthony Davis, um, and you know the, the junior, um, Levine Smith, all of them be a very key players on this um, offensive player. You can't forget our um, nose guard and our um, right tackle, and I know, I mean, not nose guard, center. <laughs> our center, Zach, and our um, right tackle, um, Brett. So our offense should be very good this year. I feel like it'll be a productive year for them. What are your personal goals for this season, your final one with the Bobcats? Um, well, I don't really have any personal goals. I really had team goals this year, just trying to get my team to a title. I've kind of reached a lot of uh, personal goals myself as defensive player of the year, uh, first team all state, all area defensive player of the year, things like that. So um, it's just more about the team this year to me. And um, we're trying to get my coach a ring, go far as we can. Last season, you contributed in a lot of ways. Some, sometimes as an age back, you were on special teams. How big a role are you going to have this year? Um. Uh, I think I'll play a different, a lot of different positions this year. Um, I just go on the field trying to help my team. I don't care if I'm not getting the ball. I'm just blocking. I'm going out there 100% everything I do. 
you make a lot of big plays. What, what's your favorite play to make in a game, especially on defense? Is it a sack? Is it a big tackle for a loss? An interception? Force to recover? Fumble? What, what gets you the most jazzed up? Uh, the plays that probably get me the most jazz up is them hard hits. I love contact. So, especially so whenever I make a hard hit or anything like that, I feel good about it. I get up, jumping up, down. You used to ever see me play, you see I play with a lot of emotion. So, that's how I do. What are your expectations for this final season with the Bobcats for your team? Um, I just want to leave it all out on the field. I just want to show them that we're the best. And we're going to work harder than any other team this year. Sounds good. Best of luck. Look forward to seeing you play. Thank you. We're going to break down some highlights of Albert Red's play for the Glen Bobcats, kind of uh, Albert's greatest hits. Here we go. Uh, so this play is the um, conference championship game against East Forsyth. A running back will get the ball, and I kind of, I'm waiting for the cutback lane, and he does come back with the cutback lane, and I make a great tackle here. Yeah. yeah, it's not really a cutback if you're there. <laughs> okay, so this is a play against Butler. Mm -hmm. I think he throws the screen to the outside, and I um, post it back for another cutback line and um, make a big hit here, too. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Okay, this play right here. Is the um, first time we played East Forsyth, the very second play of the defense, our defensive drive. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and this is an interception from the, the um, sniffer coming out the backfield. I had a man. First play of the, our drive, mm -hmm. but it's the play before the interception. They run a um, sweep with the sniffer, and I um, stay square and made the play. This one, another E for side play. But, um, you like this, <laughs> those big plays against East for side? <laughs> yeah. So. I think the sniffer comes back out the back foot again, and they run the same play, and I, I break it up for this time for just an incomplete pass. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, okay, let's get this one. You can play this one. Okay. This is one of my favorite plays, one of the toughest plays I think I've ever made. This is a um, fourth and one take corner run. Um, downhill, I'm coming off the edge this play on the blitz. As you can see before the play, I'm very anxious. Ready to get back This there. is the defensive player of the year and the offensive player of the year for the Winston-Salem Journal from last season meeting. It's a fourth and one drive. You see how we come from the edge right there? Yep. Oh yeah. They didn't get it, so of course I was very hyped. Uh, this is the another conference. This is the conference championship game against East Forsyth. I think so when the running back is going to get the ball, a couple players wrap them up, but I end up hitting them and taking them all the way over here. Yep, finished it. Let's stop it there if we can. When you're making these plays, what are how, how much of what you're doing is the preparation that you put in in the film room and getting ready and your coaches giving you keys and what to look for? I would say 70% of it is film, um, studying plays through all week, um, running plays, making sure I know what gaps, and studying the old linemen. And the other 30% would just be the effort and being focused in the game and paying attention to your keys and what everybody's doing. Good deal. Those were uh, some of Albert Red's greatest hits from last season. Thank you.